And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Braum Swain. It's going to be our next donation deck that we're going to be playing here. Playing a lot of our Crimson units. We got Ember Maiden here dealing one to everything. This is going to be an important card to not only trigger our Crimson units, but this is a, a real good way to level up our Swain that you know we want to deal our, no our 12 non-combat damage for. Plus Ember Maiden works great with Braum dealing that damage to Braum. Either getting us the Mighty Poro or helping Braum get that level up. Legion Veterans should be, should be pretty awesome in our deck too. Um, granting our allies plus one, plus zero whenever they survive damage. Which, you know, they'll be surviving damage from like our Ember Maiden um, or, or other uh, various means. Um, and then, you know, like we got Swain at the top end also that, you know, we can have... Um, you know, Swain has, has a lot of health. So, you know, can survive some damage for a little bit. You know, can get some more power with Legion Veteran. Maybe we use Take Heart on it. Um, this was one that I, I put together. This was this was a, a donation deck to build a, a Braum Swain deck. Um, I had like Might in here originally, but you know, cutting down cards, decided to to get rid of that. You know, if I had a Might originally for for the leveled up Swain, um, the last card that I cut this is a deck that was really hard to like. There was just two more cards that I wanted to play than not play, and so it was really hard to trim stuff down. The last card that I cut was Omen Hawk, and y'all know how much I absolutely love Omen Hawk. That was a difficult one to decide to, to not play Omen Hawk and uh, move away from it. And basically, the reason why I did is because I've played Omen Hawk and, and Ember Maiden uh, before quite a bit. And there's a lot of times that your, your Omen Hawks are just dying to your Ember Maidens, and they're a little awkward together. And so, since I, I really like everything else, I decided to kind of remove that awkwardness from the deck. Um, and obviously, Omen Hawk drawing an Omen Hawk late, of course, as you know, that's not anything that's really that good. Like you don't want to draw an Omen Hawk on like turn six. Um, so just remove that from from the from the equation. Also, like so, it it's not only it's not a it's a card you don't want to draw late because it's just a one one. But then also with that awkwardness of like having it like on turn one where you you really want it on turn one, but then if you have Ember Maiden on turn three, it could just die. I'm just going to remove it from the equation just because there's too many good cards that we want to play. All right, so let's play some Braum Swain. We're, we're going to go play five games over in Ranked and uh, see how we do. I think this, this deck could definitely be pretty good. Both Braum and Swain are very powerful champions. We have a lot of great synergy in our deck. This could just work out pretty well. I'm, I'm feeling pretty good about this deck. All right, so we're gonna have we're gonna keep one elixir of iron with the ruthless raider. Um, I think just that. I'm gonna mulligan these other spells just to try to look for more, uh, more units. We're at 25 units, 15 spells. So so far we found one unit and six spells. There we go. That's better. Yeah, I mean, we, we could be a, a Vladimir deck, but Swain, Swain offers more, probably more consistent power than Vladimir does. I love a taste of the action. If they block Crimson Disciple, we will Transfusion. If they would have blocked the 3-1... <clears throat> then we would just not transfusion. We just let damage happen. My hope is that I will be able to take heart to this Crimson Disciple after damage. That's not bad either. We'll just take that. Basically, the, the reason why I'm saying that's not bad is because the Crimson Disciple doesn't go down to one health. Like I would, I'd rather see that than like Vile Feast, right? I, I think so. It's like Vile Feast. Get rid of that Crimson Disciple immediately. Uh, four mana. We 
remember the objectives. A few for the many. Yeah, Vlad doesn't have a battleship also. Leviathan is super powerful. and grab Swain is, is really powerful. Ravenous Flock's not looking special. We got two of them in here. Can level up Swain immediately, like so maybe I should have my Demolitionist block. By my rise. Lead us to victory, Grand General. Every late collector is going to be messy with the drain. Ember Maiden would help out a lot of things right now. You know, like it would turn on Swain. Um, I know those ravenous flock. This never late collector. This elixir of iron that I kept in my opener. Hasn't particularly worked out for me. Is attacking worth it? So four, three blocks, two, three, three, two blocks, two, two, three, two blocks, three, six. I do four damage to them. Patience is a tactician's greatest tool. Then they deal three to me and gain three. Opens up a lot of slots for them to just play more things. Another day in paradise. This doesn't seem particularly worth it for one point of damage. My Swain would go down to being a 3-3. Three, three. It would level up. So I guess 4-4. Four, four. No, I didn't play Culling Strike because Culling Strike doesn't level up uh, Swain. Sure, if I wanted to, if I wanted to make sure that we have a great card against Neverglade Collector, then yes, obviously playing Culling Strike would be worth it. Obviously. Considering doing this, I've, I've said I want to do this as a, uh, um, yeah, we're, we're supposed to be pretty aggressive for the most part. Um, so I know doing that right now is, 
is not as good as waiting, but I want to be able to play the like if I if I play Leviathan this turn, which obviously I'm playing Leviathan this turn, then it would take all of my mana to do that, so I wouldn't have Elixir of Iron mana as well. You dare oppose Noxus. Yeah, I mean, you could replace Ravenous Lock with Culling Strike, absolutely. I I mean, this Ravenous Lock doesn't look good. I'm not here to really de defend that too much. I mean, I'm, I'm just saying why it was the reason that I made uh, that decision. But yeah, I mean, if I I was not I was not prepared for Neverglade Collector. I will admit that. Not come too prepared for that. Yeah, with Ember Maiden, I went with Ravenous Flock with Ember Maiden. That Crimson Disciple could not block the. The other thing. Uh, the other thing, the the thing that Swain blocked had uh, had fearsome. I couldn't have Crimson Disciple block it. So now it's just, do they have atrocity? Yes or no? That's the main question here. Looks like they do. Things that have not gone well for us today. <laughs> so yeah, you know, like I, I play Ravenous Block, it turns out we need Culling Strike. Um, you know, do they have the atrocity? Of course they do. So that's the stuff that happens when you lose 10 in a row. GG's. These cards are good, but my opponent is playing Burn. One of the card, one of the last cards to cut was Kindly Tavern Keeper. I want, I was definitely considering playing one or two Kindly Tavern Keepers with us having Ember Maiden, and us dealing self damage more. Thought about playing Kindly Tavern Keeper, where it would help out against Burn because I thought that we would be behind against Burn uh, to begin with. But then again, also just kind of, I decided not to because people don't really play Burn. You know, like just people play like the Noxus deck. But, uh, yeah, looks like we're playing against Burn now, so. What do I know? Um. Which one is. More. Like. I, I guess we keep the Demolitionist. I see really keeping either one. Like, obviously, one, one of them's got to. You know, we got to sacrifice one of them. The thing about having, you know, playing Demolitionist there is that if we don't draw anything better, I would rather... Remember the objectives. I would have rather blocked with the Demolitionist and then keep Crimson Disciple. Clear it out.
At least if they're if they're looking at transfusion, that's not really helping them. They could be looking at noxion fervor. I would not want to see, of course. Oh, okay. It's not a bad play. If your goal is just race and you know you're a burn deck, it's not necessarily a bad play. I think this is the best play, but not exactly sure that it is. Playing Swain over just playing like Legion Veteran. I can do this. Definitely looks better when they play another Boom Crew Rookie. Now, obviously, I don't like seeing the Boom Crew Rookie, but if they would have had, like, another Legion Grenadier, um, you know, then then I would have rather played the Veteran than played the Swain, like, if it was gonna, if they would have played a Blocker for the Swain. Basically, Legion Veteran would have been a 4-5 that would have made this thing a 3-2. Um, so, you know, would have kind of... Move that a little bit. It is easy, see? Yeah, we never know what hit him. Justify yourself. <clears throat> I think it's... Yeah, like, I'd rather just block with the Swain, I think, over the Mighty Poro. I don't know. I could be, Like, maybe the take heart's better on the Mighty Poro, so maybe I should block there. Because I don't think they'd be Mystic Shotting Mighty Poro. They'd probably be Mystic Shotting me. Do they need our help? Alright, so we got 30 puff caps because we haven't drawn one yet. So we got one puff cap per card. The young fight for glory. I fought for legacy. We no longer merely fight wars, we declare them. So I don't want to I don't want to target the Braum because I don't really don't care if I kill that Teemo or not, because I mean this is this is it, right? Like this is this is the game. It's either we win or we lose. Right here. So we just get the most damage out there. So we drew one puff cap. Did we just draw one? Not two. Okay, one and one. They didn't have. My and only didn't have five points of burn. And how are we so lucky? 
We actually got we actually got some luck. We didn't die. We didn't die. Yeah, that was lucky. Alright, we're back on the board. We gotta win. Let's see if we can make it two in a row. This will be an interesting matchup. They are you know, like they're the the more like this is like the more tier one powerful deck. This will be interesting to see how we match up against them. Um, I love both of these pump spells, but we need another unit. It's just pretty likely that we'll find another unit. Um, but I do love both of those pump spells. Worry about Culling Strike and Reckoning? I'm not worried about either of those cards. I'll try anyone. Worried about Brittle Steel. Brittle Steel is the card. That's the busted one. Basically, that just would have been a nightmare if if I would have attacked if I would attack with both and they just block Crimson Curator and and Frostbite the Crimson Curator. That I don't, I don't know. Maybe that would maybe that, maybe that would not have been a nightmare. I was thinking it would be, but maybe it would not have been. I go trans no yeah because I transfer I kill the three one right yeah and then they go down to one so yeah yeah that would have been. Um. These frostbite cards that are such a killer. That's what you gotta watch out for. Turn off seven mana. I have the name. I need the reputation. So I'll have, uh, you know, got a couple of pump spells for the Swain. Swain's at seven out of twelve. Question mark. Can you? to no one. Oh! <laughs> 
Hmm. How do we want to do this? I want to use a double pump spell. Stand and fight. I mean, yeah, Elixir of Iron, great. Yeah, I spent two mana. Yeah, I spent I spent seven mana and two spells for like what they did with their Elixir of Iron. Our strength is yours. Um, I wish we had one more mana. Definitely wish we had one more mana. Patience is a tactician's greatest tool. Hmm. about your dad. Stand and defend! But my friend... Uh, uh, Destruction feeds my fire! <laughs> We're keeping something stunned. Frostbite's good. Frostbite is good. <laughs> One mana. Avros and Hearthguard is awesome. Somebody said earlier that they were. That some people are playing Cat of the Arm instead of Avros and Hearthguard. That is still ridiculous to me. I like your style. I like your face. Come on in. 
So yeah, they could have just gone straight to attacks and win. They still just get to attack and win. Um, but they were worried about me having the... Uh, we don't need to go through the whole watch Ash level up and all that kind of stuff. We got really close. Yeah, we got him down to one. Ember Maiden with... With Crimson Disciple, got us close. We got them taking one more damage than what they did. Somewhere. Maybe like if I would have attacked with the Swain, you know, like that, and just you know, I, I know they'd have the Reckoning. Um, but yeah, if I would have. I mean, if I would have just attacked the Swain. That potentially could have got me there. I don't know. Leading with Demolitionist, Demolitionist is kind of meh. Good game, Gucci. GG's. I like this better than our previous hand. I have the bag. I need the reputation. Everyone pleads for the right prize. Hmm. Wasn't really expecting that. I was kind of expecting the, I was expecting the, uh, like a stun thing, like the arachnoid sentry. Fine. Fine. Or like the other, the other one, the spell version. Not the face. I guess concussive palm is the name. trade for us. Sleep is for the guiltless. The young fight for glory. I fought for legacy. Let's get this over with. Is difficult. By all means, not in my way. Load from that. Ah, uh, that's a good card. The winter's claw. I'm out of their league. I alone decide my fate. Right, so obviously I am saving that thing. Um, I'm hoping that we can get rid of this Yasuo with two damage on it with Death's Hand. That's what I'm hoping there. Oh, I guess I mean I could have played this Crimson Disciple. I was thinking I was thinking that like if I like I can play Swain and Death's Hand next turn if I don't play Crimson Disciple. That's what I was kind of thinking. Yeah, we're playing against Yasuo Swain with a Katarina, so probably three Yasuo, two Swain, one Katarina. That'd be my guess. Hmm. 
No going back. Hmm. That cat's not going to be easy to deal with. not going to be easy to deal with. Yone makes playing that not so great, but at least Yasuo is out of here now. Yeah, I don't, I don't dislike that. Playing two swing one cat. Don't don't dislike that at all. I still have some fights left in me. I'll try anyone. At zero to twelve. <laughs> for conquest, for empire. I served for decades, and you call on me now. Yeah. Positions. For the empire. This will pump up the Crimson Disciple to be a 4 2. Three two. The few for the many. Artillery barrage. I certainly wish I would have blocked that thing with the 4 4 now. This could be quite bad for me. Those are the exact blocks I was hoping for. I think our deck needs three Leviathans. No, I. No, I, I think three is overkill. You'll just too consistently have them like early where you won't be able to curve out because you have them. Fight or die! Unfortunately, it looks like my opponent probably has some kind of protection for the Leviathan, how they're not doing anything else, how they're not playing Katarina or anything. Uh, probably means that one of these is protection and that I'm dead. Oh no. Okay, cool. Not dead. No going back. Oh, they just have a lot of Katarinas. Leave them not. It's 
played the wrong Katarina, because now we know, you know, we know about this other one now. Um. Yeah, I mean, sure, we could play a babbling Bjerg that would draw a Leviathan, but it's, it's like, what do we, what do we cut? Thing. There's there's so many cards you can play with Noxious and Freljord. There's so many good cards. Getting it down to 40 is tough. Like that's that's the hard part is getting it down to 40. There are a lot of good cards. Noxus is just an overpowered region. It's it's certainly more powerful than everything else. That's it's the first time, you know, playing the game for you know good good four five good five months um, like every day and this is the first time that I can very confidently say that there's one region that's much more powerful than than the rest that's not just there's you know you can you can say well why aren't we playing X card well I mean there's also Y Z A B C that you could easily put in the deck as well and so, yeah, whenever you look at whatever game, whatever scenario you want, you can say, oh, man, I wish we had access to, you know, X card. The next game, I wish we had access to Y card. It's just, we can't play them all. We can't play them all. Go to one. No, go. Only fools hesitate. It's game one way or the other. not game one way or the other. You'll have those days where just everything goes wrong. That's today. Had a real good previous like week, but today you can just imagine, you know, you imagine the, the opponent having just random, whatever random card that would be bad for me to see. And then they, they're gonna have it. Hmm. 
This is a good matchup for Braum. Take heart. We lost to this deck previously with Neverglade Collector killing me. Maybe Braum Take Heart can be some removal for Neverglade Collector. Let me show you what I can do. My turn. <laughs> to get me out of here. I, you know, like they we had we had lethal, and then they had the atrocity, the only card to win the game. That's how. There you are. That's how today's gone. They grow up so fast. So I'm not even sure if I'm supposed to be playing Ruthless Raider because that doesn't let me play Braum and take heart. So maybe I shouldn't have done that uh, because of that. Whoa, homeowner. Thank you, homeowner. Y'all get some hype in the chat for not only our newest sub today, but homeowner is also gifting five subs to the channel. Thank you, home homeowner. That was really kind of you. Good job, Valerian Blade. You just went 3-0 today to get back to Masters. Awesome. Good job. Oh, yeah, that's right. They're doing the whole LP thing now um, in Masters. Forgot about that. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know what we'll be placed at. I mean, I'm saying it like like we're definitely getting there, but who knows now? I guess I can't say can't say anything now. Let the flames take you. Well. This should be good for us. We'll see. Yeah, so we're going to play some bonus games today. We got the bonus stream sub goal. I just got bonus stream. The spirits of the betrayed are restless. Yes, rest is very important. Bonus stream. So Callista will be two thirds leveling up. They go like glimpse beyond on the mist wraith to try to kill it first to level up their Callista, then we can ravenous block the mist wraith. Keep that from happening. It's probably not that useful to try to save Ember Maiden, is it? Probably not. Ha! 
Level up, Braum. Ooh, Valerian Blade with a donation deck. Got a lot of donation decks coming in today. We're doing a lot, a lot more donation decks tomorrow and the next day. Okay. What what is your deck, Valerian Blade? can't target that. I was like, what? I can target whatever I want. Don't tell me what I can't do. Swain, Twisted Fate, Gangplay. Alright, cool. Probably play yours on I mean, today's Tuesday. Probably play yours on Thursday. I already got four donation decks for tomorrow. Let's see, one, two, three, four. Let's see, wait. Yeah, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, because we got seven. Actually, no, six. Yeah, we got six donation decks today that came in, and I already had one set for tomorrow before that. But I think one of these is for Meme, meme Tier Monday, though. Okay, so we went two and three. Better, I mean better better than what we have been doing. Improvement. Um Yes. I will play it not first. No problem. Yep. I'm doing evening on Thursday. Perfect. I can do yours later on, no no problem. Um, so yeah, I don't know exactly what we needed. Maybe some more, maybe some more card draw. And maybe, maybe that's like, maybe we'll play Babbling Bjerg instead of Legion Veteran. Um, where Babbling Bjerg draws as Leviathan. I don't know. I don't love that. Um, could, could, you know, kind of try to switch it up and just go more, um, Averroes and Hearthguard and Trifarian Assessor and that kind of stuff. Um, but you know, we're not a great assessor deck with having Braum and Swain. Um, so, I don't know. I was like, you know, Curator can create, like, the other Crimson cards in our hands. I was kind of hoping for a little bit more card advantage there. The card that the card that probably looked the worst was the Ravenous Flocks. Um, you know, like, Culling Strike probably would have been better. Or, you know, some other kind of removal spell. Maybe another Noxion Fervor, another uh, Death's Hand. Like, that kind of stuff calling strike the three mana spells all probably would have been better than a ravenous flock maybe i would get like one might one calling strike in here instead of these um i guess those, those don't help level up swain and, and that's something we gotta gotta be worried about um maybe just an auction for maybe just a might and an auction fervor and not play the calling strike i don't i don't love the calling strike in our deck um Fervor to help level up Swain might to do all that damage when you have a leveled up Swain. Yeah. The vet the veteran was good. I mean, like, 4-5 is a good size body. There's a lot of uh, smaller things. It's a really good blocker and everything. I, I was happy with the veteran. 
Um, it was good. You know, like, my opponent played Yasuo, I play Legion Veteran. They can't attack. Um, yeah, I mean, I was happy with Legion Veteran. It's just... Uh, the the card that was definitely the worst for us was, was that Ravenous Flock. Um, and, you know, like, our things die. Like, they, they have, like, their own removal, and so you can have Fervor in response to their removal, or... You know, you, we can use Fervor as a little bit more removal ourselves. We've got to, got to make sure we can level up Swain, and that, that's not always easy. And so Fervor does a good job of that, doing half of it on its own. So yeah, I would play one Fervor, one Might instead of um, instead of those Ravenous Flocks. Okay, cool. All right, so that's Braum Swain. Uh, those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And, of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. I'd appreciate that. But anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.